Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And of course, as always, welcome back to the wonderful Lake Street. Really great to have you here. And I'd also like to welcome back somebody else that you know. You guys asked for a back. You're desperate to have a back on another vlog, so here she is. Hi! You ask, <laughs> and I give. <laughs> Get dinner back. She's back. She's back. <laughs> so, what we've got planned today? In fact, I'll tell you what, why am I talking? Why don't you tell everybody where we're going today? We're going to the caves. <laughs> Which caves? Cathedral caves. Yes, <laughs> cathedral caves, cathedral cavern, whatever you want to call it. And we're also going to... Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. We're going to Hodge Close. Oh, yes. So we're actually going to Hodge Close first. And then we're going to mosey on round to cathedral cavern. Spend a bit of time around there then probably cross later bridge through uh, little langdale which is pretty much the shire and um to the pub i think for a pint and then <laughs> walk back um, did you know that hodge close was in the witcher yes i know i I, I i actually showed that to you oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i saw it this morning it's like oh i forgot about that yeah. but uh, there's a scene in the witcher where they've got the skull uh, the one i photographed a few years ago I'll put it on the screen right now. I think I did a better job. <laughs> I did a better job than the whole of the production team of The Witcher. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'm talking absolute rubbish. It's a really beautiful day today, isn't it? It is gorgeous. It was forecast to be overcast today. That's why we said let's go and do the caves because it doesn't matter. Um, and then the forecast completely changed. And it's bright blue sky uh, and a cold, beautiful though. sunshine, yeah. And it is really cold, very, very, very cold. cold indeed. I mean, it's so cold that this puddle here, look, it's got a lot of ice on it. Yeah, I was going to tell you a lot of stuff about this walk, but I can't remember any of it. It's too early. <laughs> Just typical. But, um, <laughs> you know, the, the route's in the description anyway, so you'll be able to see it's a nice circular walk. Right, before we carry on, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment yes <laughs> well done got it right <laughs> yeah really important that to like obviously that bumps up the uh, algorithm stuff on youtube and more people see it so yeah please do that can't open the gate can't get the gate open i could open the gate for you oh yeah i could have got my gate opener you're <laughs> <laughs> doing a grand job <laughs> so Dean is very excited about today. Yes, I am. Um, these caves are fantastic. You know, the one of the, the iconic places in the Lake District. Really fantastic walk because it's low level, not a lot of uphill involved, and yeah, beautiful views all over the place. So uh, let's get on. We're going to get onto the Hodge Close first and go and check out the uh, the quarry works around there. It's quite amazing. Let's go. Alrighty, now got to Hodge Close. Dina? Hi! <laughs> if we head off in that direction, which we'll do uh, shortly after we've been down to the, the quarry itself, we'll be heading towards Cathedral Cavern. Um, but like I say, we're going to head off down now into the pit and go and check out the spooky stuff down there and, and interesting history and all that. Shebang. It is a great place. Look at this. So at first it looks a little bit intimidating as you drop down, but it's, it's not at all. This is the much easier way of going down um, and heading into that uh, bit above the water rather than from the other side, which I think is the west side. That's a little bit more of a scramble down, but this is really easy. There's some steps here, look. Is it? Did I trust you? Eh, uh, probably not. <laughs> Listen to those birds.
Okay, here we are in Hodge Close Quarry. What an amazing place, isn't it? Ooh, to fall over. This here, this, um, what Dean has stood on now, this actually remains of an old crane that was uh, once stood here. And what is actually quite fascinating, this is a 150 meter high cliff, but it also goes another 150 meters down into the depth. So it's a 300 meter drop altogether. So this is all, obviously all flooded years ago. So you get a lot of rock climbers climbing here and you get a lot of uh, scuba divers going down into the, the different uh, chambers and tunnels and all that kind of stuff down there. So it's, yeah. That's amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? I didn't realise that. Yeah. Wow. It's bizarre. And over there, you stand over down that bit there and look back towards these holes. So this one, and I'll just pop over to the other one. Oh. It's actually where you see the skull. This is the eye of the skull. And when it's reflected in the water of the quarry, that's when you get the, the two eyes. Brilliant. Shame about this sort of stuff though. Real shame, there's some more graffiti on the rock over there. I don't know why people feel the need to do that, but there you go. Let's have a little wander around over here. Check out this bit. Oh, it's quite wet around here. <laughs> All the water dripping off the, uh, the roof here. All right, so I'm now stood in the eye of the skull. So that photograph that I took of the quarryman, as I call it, is taken over there, looking back this way. And this is the eye that then gets reflected in the water. It needs to be a still day, really. Not quite still enough today, really. It's a little bit, a little bit of uh, chop on the water, so it might not work. Although if you did a long exposure, then it'd work perfectly. Right, we've uh, had a good scout around here now and checked it all out and taken some photographs and video and all that kind of stuff and enjoyed it. No one around. Really surprising that there's no one here. Um, it's so quiet. What time is it? Oh, it's landed right in my head. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah. It's 10. 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Well, so maybe, maybe that's why. It's, it's probably a bit too early for the, the masses at the moment. But uh, yeah, really nice. So we're going to head up back up here now, back out of the, the, the quarry pot, and then uh, have a slow wander over to Cathedral Camp and enjoy the sunshine because it's yes. quite cold in here. Yes, I'm getting cold, so I need to warm up now. Yeah. Cold and windy. Weird. The wind has kind of gone straight through. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we just got to the top of the, the quarry there. Uh, got the blood pumping a little bit, didn't it? Yes. I'm surprised you've still got your coat on, actually. Well, it's still cold. <laughs> well, it is. There's definitely a, a, an icy chill in that breeze. So yeah, we're gonna head over to uh, Cathedral Quarry now. It's gorgeous around here, it really is. Absolutely beautiful, all the little buildings. And as we head further around towards Cathedral Cavern and Slater Bridge, it looks very much like the Shire, because you're, you're in Little Langdale proper there. And it does look like the Shire. Are we gonna get run over here? Maybe. Is that a, is that a, <laughs> Let's, um, People. let's uh, yeah, we're just going to duck out of the way here because we've got some Land Rovers coming up. I don't know whether these are locals, farmers or green laning people, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Chief Moose. I can see that in the front. Nothing like a bit of diesel fumes <laughs> when, you, when you're walking around the lakes. Fill those lungs with the black <coughs> plume of death. <laughs> so Listen dramatic. to the birdies. Can you hear the birdies? Listen to the birdies, Dina. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I love them. Look at this. I think I think I mentioned this one on the last vlog I did. I think it's a home fell vlog around this area. But look at this little um, cabin here. I want to live in that. I'd quite happily live there. I'd rather live there, <laughs> to be honest with you, but I could definitely live there. Right, let's get on down this path to uh, Lau Langdale. Thanks very much. Okay, 
not that wide. Flipping heck. <laughs> this caravan here has been here for years. And this, I don't know what the hell this is. This little building, but really creepy. I think this is a murder house. I think there's probably a huge pile of bodies in there. <laughs> Festering away. Flies all over the place. You open the door to that, there'll just be flies coming out. And stuff. <laughs> Look at it, it's creepy, you've got to admit. Feels out of place here. When you look around and see all this gorgeous beauty. Not that. Oh, but that. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It's like something from the deep south. Come on, Dina. <laughs> Right, so we're just getting to Stang End now. It's a cute little farm here, cottages. And we can see Little Langdale proper now, we're dropping into it. So we're not a million miles away from the uh, Cathedral Cavern. Uh, yeah, enjoying it. Flipping cold though. Yeah, so cold. Look at this place. Look at my hands. Stop moaning. <laughs> Always moaning. That's my job. <laughs> She's desperate for a sandwich now. <laughs> we are, uh, I'm getting hungry. And I'm getting quite hungry as well. Yeah. So we're going to have a little, walk, a little mooch around the cavern and then we'll find somewhere nice in the sunshine, out of the wind, and enjoy our lunch. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, it's the little things in life. Didn't even notice we were here. <laughs> didn't, didn't even see us. Did he? <laughs> I rode right past us. Didn't even see us, acknowledge us, or anything. Right. Okay, here we are at the ford of the River Brady. We'll be coming back over that bridge later on um, after the pub. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so the idea is now the, the cavern is not far down here. Uh, literally two minute walk up to the left. It's a long time. So it, is, it is a long time, I know, sorry. Um, and then we'll go on there and then we're gonna head on a bit further down there, across the later bridge and round into the pub, quaff, eat. It's a buzzard up there, you will be able to see it. You see the buzzard? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's get in the cavern. Let's go. Excited and scared. Scared? Yes, I'm going in the cave. I don't like caves. Do you not? You don't like caves? Oh. We've come all this way to go in caves. You don't like caves. Here it is. This is the entrance to Cathedral Cavern. It's going to be tricky filming here because obviously it's dark, but I'll do the best I can. We've got various torches, <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. Let's go in. La, la, la. Very nice. Right. I think we should go and find the fabled goldfish of Cathedral Cavern. I've actually seen it. A lot of people don't believe it exists, or it didn't exist, but believe me, there used to be a goldfish swimming in this little pond here. Highly unlikely that it was still alive. I thought I saw it then, <laughs> but it's not there. But what a great place this is. Really iconic. That 
massive gaping hole up there. And there's another little hole up there as well. And you can walk around the back side and stand up there and the acoustics are just incredible. Well, there's another opening here and we're going to head up there in a minute. And it really is like being in a prehistoric land. It's fantastic. Check this out. <gasps> Look at it. going to head up this little bit here towards those climbers, abseilers, whatever they are, and hopefully uh, be able to get into the tunnel that will take us right under that rock there. It's fantastic. About 100 metres long. It's been blocked recently because um, a big boulder fell off and they, they closed it all off, but hopefully it's all open again, so we'll go and check it out. Have a go? No. Very wet down here, isn't it? Yeah. So we turn right here. So you come into this little chamber, intermediary chamber, and we're going to turn right, head down this bit. Oh my God, where are you taking me? <sighs> if you don't hear from me again, you know where I am. Why is it warm down here? So, this is uh, one of the tunnels that's been closed off. I don't know why they closed it, but it's very similar to the main cavern, uh, the, the cathedral, with a central column there. I don't know if you can see it. Should we turn our lights off? Okay. So we're going to do a, a light, total light off in uh, three, two. Oh, it's a button. three, two, one. It is absolutely pitch black, isn't it? This is as dark as you could ever get. God. There's, there's, you know, even when you're at home, you know, you turn the lights out at night time. Um, you turn the lights out at night time, your eyes get used to it. But here, there is no light. There's no daylight at all. Nothing spilling in from anywhere. It's brilliant. It's scary. So. Can we go now? We're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go on, uh, back down to that central bit and um, turn right. So, so follow you. All right. Yep. Yeah. To the right, and then we've got this long tunnel.
we're out. <laughs> we made it. We're alive. Wow, fantastic. Definitely worth doing this little tunnel if you if you ever come here. Um, yeah, don't be afraid. Just get down there and get through it. Bring a torch. I've put my torch away now, but bring a torch. Definitely worth um, bringing one otherwise. I mean, you can use your phone, but it's just not the same. Yeah. Right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head up, um, up there somewhere and go and sit in some sunshine and get a bite to eat. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. Let's go. Moment of truth. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. I don't even think we've earned this. No, we didn't. We've not really walked up a mountain or anything like that, but. But do we care? Not really, no. Okay. Ham, cheese, lettuce. Mm. Yeah. A bit of mayonnaise. Oh yeah! Look mm. at that. Oh. Mm. Oh. What a view. Wangdale, Lingmoor, Fourth Elf, Pike of Lisco, all that stuff in the background. Wonderful. A beautiful sunny day. It is beautiful. <gasps> Honestly. <laughs> what a beautiful view. Mm, it's nice to have the um, wind gone isn't it? Oh my god, what a difference. Bit of respite from it. It's cold, really icy. It really takes it out of you. Right, lunch eaten, views admired, now we're going to get across to the pub basically. Um, my La Langdale, or aka the Shire. Look at this place. This is the Shire. It's not looking great today because it is, everything's dead. The grass is dead at the moment. But in spring and summer and autumn as well, you get the right light. It's like the Shire. It really is. You can imagine hobbits living here. Beautiful place. <laughs> How I in my head I thought it was gonna be quite uh, spring like today because you know obviously it's 5th of March today. I thought it'd be quite spring like. Check the weather yesterday, it's at 8 degrees. So I thought oh better get some cold Layers. weather clothes on. <laughs> but flipping heck, it seems a lot colder than that, doesn't it? Uh, it feels Baltic. I'm What's going frozen. on man? It's cold on my hood. <laughs> like attacking me. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> right, so after you. Ladies first. Age before beauty. Ready? Uh, here we go. Right, so now back on the uh, track. Let's dodge the trees. <laughs> That's going to take us to Slater Bridge. Um, just down here, the bridge. Not far at all, a couple of minutes. <laughs> Honestly, you're such a path hog. Get.
in the 17th century, that, Dina. 17th century. Really? Mm. It's actually a Grade Two listed building as well. And this is the Bravey that runs out from Little Langdale and then obviously from further up towards uh, Greenburn Beck and, and those kind of places. So now we're going to head over to the pub, finally. <laughs> to the pub! Definitely a lot busier now, lots of people around. Uh, we probably have to stand outside um, in the cold. In the wind? In the cold and the wind. <sighs> Drinking that cold drink in the wind oh. and the cold. <laughs> right, come, let's go. <laughs> of our walk. Look at this house, I've never noticed that house before. How gorgeous is that? Sorry, <laughs> it took off uh, Dina's head. Yeah. Beautiful house, that. Love the colours of the um, the woodwork, the door and everything. Anyway, wow. Aww. Quick as a flash, we're at Stang End. Here we are. So not a million miles away from uh, being back at the car now. Well, actually, no, we are. <laughs> Still quite a bit to go. Shh, don't say that. Been a really beautiful little light display here. Little patches of light, sunlight moving across the valley. But now it's completely flat again. <laughs> it's, uh, You've got to be quick, that's for sure, haven't you? Yeah, it's either film it or take photographs. Yeah, I did get some photographs, <laughs> I think, I hope. Uh, so we're going to carry on through Stang End and uh, along this track to uh, the main road and the back of the van. So let's do it. Right, so we're just getting up to the A593, which is the road between, runs between uh, Ambleside and Coniston, nearly back at the van. But what we're gonna do now is, what's that bird? <laughs> that was distracting me completely. Is we're gonna just go on a little footpath 
that runs alongside the road because there's, there's nowhere else to walk on the road. It's quite a nice little bit. It drops down uh, beneath it, if that makes sense. But beautiful light there, wasn't there? Oh. Like a little gorgeous display of light. That time of the day, sunset. Yeah. Across the mm. fells, it was coming on the sh of the shoulder of Weatherlam out towards the eastern fells. In fact, you might be able to see it a little bit now, probably not. But it was just a bit hazy, wasn't it? Hazy, yeah. and there's a lot of blue sky. Neither of us like blue sky. Well, we do on a beach. Not, not for pictures. But not for photographs, yeah. It's a beach. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, I can open it for you. Taking this path here. So I can keep you in a strong, voice independent behind me. woman. I am a strong, need independent anybody. woman. <sighs> And that's it, I'll just leave it. Literally about seven minutes away from the van now. Whoa. So uh, I think it's time we wrapped up. Oh, that means more food is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this one. Again, like we said right at the beginning, don't forget to like. Really, really important. Subscribe. Even if you haven't liked it, just like it anyway. And Sub comment. Subscribe and comment, that's right. <laughs> and of course, if you want to support the channel, help me get out and do this sort of stuff because it does cost money you know it's fuel in the tank it's parking and all that kind of stuff uh, i don't get paid for it or anything so just head over to the website at blackcrag.uk and yeah just go and check out what's there photographs and all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah i'd be much appreciated thanks for watching i really hope you've enjoyed it and i'll probably see you on the next adventure probably not with dina but uh, i'm sure she'll be out on a future vlog so uh, i'll see you next time Okay, so we're. Uh, so, mm. <laughs> <laughs>